We are on an island. Uh, we are in the desert. We're in the high desert. So we're about 4,000 feet up in the air, a very arid region. From the 1960s is when the water recycling story started for El Paso. So we started to realize that um, we wouldn't be able to depend on the Rio Grande always for um, our water demand. And then our next step that we're progressing here in El Paso is really the ultimate step of water reuse, which is a, a direct potable reuse. So this is where we're gonna take a cleaned wastewater, we're gonna treat it to a drinking water quality, but instead of injecting it into our aquifer, we're gonna inject it into our drinking water distribution system. Uh, but there's an added contingency uh, that we wanna include to all this, which is let's try and make the wastewater that we're gonna clean as clean as possible. The wastewater treatment plant is very sensitive. It needs to have the right conditions in order to treat the wastewater. And if these conditions are thrown off by an illegal discharge, by a pollution event, then it really causes some problems here at the wastewater treatment plant for us. El Paso Water roughly has 290,000 connections. Uh, and while it is impossible to continuously monitor all these connections to the wastewater. And when CANDU came along, it became a very important partnership for us because now we could install sensors that were placed inside the wastewater collection system. And our crews not, uh, didn't always have to go out to the field. We could have these sensors that were placed inside the manholes and they were continuously gathering the data. We can strategically locate them put them in locations where we suspect there may be what's called a pollution event. So now we can rely on, on technology to give us notification that there's a pollution event, and then if necessary, we can send our staff out there. Before, we didn't, we didn't have this technology available, so the pretreatment staff really had to be at the right place at the right time in order to find a pollution event. So with Kando, it's like multiplying our workforce. Um, now we have instruments all over town where we don't have to worry about catching someone in action. We have the data, uh, we have the analytical data that, and the, chemi the chemical data, the chemistry data that tells us something happened. I think as our customers have gotten used to, or that they know that these instruments are out there, they know that they uh, just can't drop a, uh, a tank of something in the middle of the night because no one's looking. So we're looking now. Uh, but again, more importantly, why we're looking. Uh, we get a chance to go and explain to them we're doing advanced water purification, the treatment that we're doing, and they play a significant role in this. Um, and best of all, they're, they're all Pasoans. They live here too. And uh, it's not anything that we want them to be fearful of, more so than to know. They play a role in a water resource strategy that we are now deploying on. But the reality is that we're collecting a lot of really good data and that's gonna to lead to a lot of really good decisions. And at the end of the day, that's, that's how I would describe Kando just in a nutshell. So it gives us a lot of really good data, gonna to lead to good decisions, can never go wrong when you have data.